Well, we know where the public falls down on every one of these issues, Richard. That's not the problem. You have politicians that completely ignore what polls show. One thing that Tom said that I agree with wholeheartedly, at least from the experience with my life of growing up in the projects on welfare, poor, with no father in my life, when he said, you teach a man to fish or a woman, because many households are one household uh, parents uh, and, and often women. I do agree with that assessment wholeheartedly because I think it is absolutely disgusting that Rand Paul or whoever else is stepping forward to say, you know, while, while, while the rich life is oozing out of their mouth, 26 weeks unemployment, after that, buddy, you're on your own. It's the American way. That's disgusting. Well, no, he's saying he's doing them a favor by uh, do, Okay, them you can call it whatever you want, Richard, but, but wait a second here. So you, you have a mother. Let, let's say, Jeannie, for this example. You're not a professor right now. You're a mother struggling to survive. You got a job. You fall, three kids. You fall on bad times, and your 26 weeks of unemployment is up. What now? What but, but, now? But you know what the problem with that is, is that, you know, we, we put an individual face, we, we put this, this poor child, et cetera, which we never, nobody wants to see the child suffer, okay? But, but where are the consequences for our actions, okay? I agree with you Where are the consequences? I agree with you on Where is the consequence for that father who I left? I agree with you why, on that Why are we going after him for I his agree with wait, you wait, on that this, is, this is the easy one. But here's the hard part, Tom. Yeah. Say you're right. right. Say the guy's shiftless, the mom's shiftless. Okay. Uh, say not going out there, getting a job. All these, let's describe the worst motives to him, okay? Right. At the end, who are you penalizing? You're penalizing the kid or you're penalizing no, no, the mom? Richard, I'm not, I, I don't want to penalize the kid at all. I want to take care of the child. But I'm saying How? is that, well, I, I don't know the answer to that, okay? We well, should cutting ask, them off isn't no, no, help. But, but, but again, but, can't but, 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 again but again, you can say, look, it goes back to the education argument. The, the, the places where we spend the most on public education have the worst test scores. They're, they're horrible. The point is, is that we, we need to have politicians on both sides of the aisle come up with a structure that actually benefits the people we're trying to help. It's not working. You say 26 weeks. We, we mock Rand Paul. How long should it be? Should we keep somebody on unemployment for three years? At some point... No, well, you know why I mock Rand Paul? It's not the number. It's that he's, he had the audacity to say, I'm going to do him a favor. Like, the job's just waiting for him. There was a huge study him. about that, though, Richard. I mean, it was a huge no, article. There's also a study. There's no, no, but there, but, no, the same job, no but, so. there, but, but there's a, but there's a real... There, there was a real study that just came out that I, that I glanced at, I think, last Thursday, was that basically said the longer the people are on unemployment, the less likely they are Absolutely. to be actively no going... Debate. Get another job. So I think we should incentivize people in some way yeah. that look, well, you're on for 26 weeks. If you find employment, throw them a benefit, Tom, you know, something Tom, like that. You would give somebody the shirt off of your back. Mm. I've so, seen, I'm giving mean, you suits. Okay. <laughs> but there, but there, is, I mean, there is a political divide in the country. I mean, you talk about the popularity of these issues, but when you frame the question of extended unemployment in terms of should it go a year, should it go two years, should it go three years, there's real division in this country. When you ask about food stamps, and Gina, you'd know better from looking at the polls than I would, it's, it's a popular program in theory, but in the actual, when you get down to the price tag of it, it's not so popular. We start talking about actual dollars and cents, and there's still a large swath of this country that thinks that Deficit is the deficit are the biggest problem. Three quarters of the farm bill will be going towards food stamps, and I think it's like eight billion dollars. I mean, it's a huge, huge number, and it's 49 million people in this country who are food insecure, meaning they don't have enough food to live properly. Well, and properly. And Do you, one in six in our country is on yeah. food stamps? Yeah, by yeah, the absolutely. Way, and so I invite anyone at home on food stamps. First yeah. of all, volunteer at, at any soup kitchen because I'll tell you right now, they need it and more than needing your help. They need you to give. Okay. But we did a whole series on this. I got to be kind of friendly uh, with more than a few of them. I met from both the distribution folks to the people in the front lines. <coughs> to the point where one of them got comfortable enough with me, and they said, I'll make you a deal. Come here X time at night here, and I'll take you around back. And I said, what's around back? The people who were showing up at the back door looked like me. They're working part-time where they had full-time. They can't show up at the front door and wait in the lines because they're embarrassed. They'll get a brown bag that they can go in the back so they can bring it home to the kids. They're the folks here who don't put heat on in the second floor of the house. They live on the, they live it and they got nothing but matches upstairs. They gave me the whole analogy of these folks here. There is, they, they can't meet the demand that's out there right now. I don't, there's no simple answers, but there, we do tend to pretend that there's an option. If they can't put food on the table, if they can't pay the rent, 
if they're not doing right here, okay, by the kids, what is the answer? We're going to take the, all the kids that are in these households and go to put them all in diapers? No, no, really. What is the alternative? We don't like um, people on unemployment past 26 weeks. Me too. Uh, we don't like the idea that people living off of food stamps here. Me too. But what is the but alternative? I, I think one of the issues people have, and I agree with you, I've done midnight runs every year, and they are very tough to go into the city and feed the homeless in the middle of the night, and you see exactly what you're describing. It's horrendous. But one of the issues people see is that we are spending an awful lot of money. I mean, everybody wants a solution. Everybody wants to help people. <laughs> and is the spending helping people is the big question. And if it's not, we need another way, which is why I think what the Pope was talking about is so important. And quite frankly, what President Obama has been talking about. Now, he ran on that and in 2008. Way, Mayor de Blasio and then, is talking And Mayor about. de Blasio. Yep. But they, he ran on that in 2008 and hasn't followed through. I mean, he then changed focus. It, it does so take two to it, tango. Of course, it takes a lot of time. He says he's going to do it in his second term. We'll see how how much uh, political capital he spends on it right but, now. But can you deny that people who are looking for a solution are saying, yes, we agree with you about the problem, but the solution that you're offering, not you particularly, but the solution the federal government is offering or the state is not working. No, it's so, not. So, it's, no, so no, we can all agree on that. My only thing to Eugenie is I haven't seen yet played out a good solution that really solves the systemic problem because that's what it is. Yeah. However, the alternative that I'm hearing is really, uh, if you really dig down here, and Andrew can go through this, if you dig down the different policies and what we're fighting over and why we almost had a shutdown and why the debt limit fight and what they don't want to pay for anymore, I ask those same people, what is your alternative? What are you going to do? They're not talking about jobs programs. They're not talking about infrastructure projects. They're not talking about pumping money into to schools here so that whatever. That's not on the table. They just don't want to keep spending money or in their eyes throwing good money after bad. And what happens to the population that keeps getting bigger and bigger? I don't have the answer. I'm not pretending to. Maybe it shouldn't get bigger and bigger. Maybe that's part of the problem. I mean, maybe that's the core root of it. I mean, maybe, I mean, look, as crazy as it sounds, is maybe there should be limits on people having five kids. What, to sterilize them? Well, well but, listen, I, look, I know that that makes everybody crazy. It would make me crazy, but the bottom line is, it has to end at some point. You just can't keep feeding one in six people being on food stamps in your company. Tom's getting there. He's getting there. It's the solution, I think everybody would agree, is, or one of the easiest ways to, to solve most of these problems is to make the economy better. Right. If we can have a better economy that's producing more jobs, with living, then wages. There's, with living wages, then there's certainly more to go around, and there are fewer people who are in need, who are in crisis, who are uh, who don't have uh, who but have what, food insecurity. What, what, the but, question is the the deep rift on how we get there and how we improve yeah. the economy. That's where we're stuck. But Richard, but see, I know everybody here means well, but even if all of that happens with the economy, that's still not going to make conditions better for many people that look like me, that don't have the ability, don't have the training don't have the education, and frankly, keep having baby after baby. But, 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 but explain to me, but see, this is what drives me crazy. Why, why don't you have the education? I, I mean, oh, the, don't get so, me so, started because, because I'm a big advocate of education. And so am I. And so I'm for the guy who said, give kids in the inner cities a choice of where they go to Tom, school. You're and a great person, stick them in those but it's your stupid. party, but it's your party. We will keep this debate going in the break you're here. No, no, when we come back here, we get into a familiar debate about privacy and protection with the NSA. Stay with us.